Hello everybody and welcome back to Transport Fever. We got some new trains. <laughs> I've actually had to play on a bit. Um, I'll explain why in a minute. Um, more, mainly for the upgrades. I needed to upgrade some of these trains. I thought I'd try that German train out and see how that was. Um, got some new GWRs. Uh, black. One of the reasons I've had to play on a bit was because of the, uh, this little train setup I've got over here. I've upgraded these back to regular sized tracks, which meant I had to delete a load of it in order to upgrade them. But um, I kind of put it back mostly as it was. This is not quite the same. Um, but I've put some little shunters on here. We've got one forward and one back. <laughs> some GWR coaches. Um, but these actually, the, the train itself, um, this one, they actually did carry stone and uh, stuff. Hang on. Here we go, it's this one. Yeah, so a Pannier tank class. Um, light goods and shunting engines, often used for passenger services as well. Oh no, it's them that was the iron and stone ones. Oh yeah, I decided to switch them back for these ones. Just because uh, I thought I'd turn no cost back off. Eh, I need to go and turn no cost back off. <laughs> yeah, I. I can switch it off now. I've got, I've got over a billion dollars in the bank. I don't think I'm going to need to uh, pour barrel or anything for a while. Anyway, these are quicker. Carry a lot more. Bigger carriages on them. Um, the goods are just starting to pick back up again because they weren't using the line for a while. That one's dropped off again. That one's dropped off again. That one's dropped off again. Have I loaded up? Don't tell me I've loaded up the wrong side again. No, I can't because I've done the upgrade and it's 1950. Um, stone's still coming in. These, these, oh, it's probably because the platform's full. Yeah. It's too much iron ore in here. Alright, that'll clear off in a bit now. They are working. <laughs> well, they were before, anyway. Um, another reason. Oh, these bridges. This ruddy game. I did build a bridge over here. I had another crossing coming out of here. I had two more bridges over here. Um, I sorted out all these streets. I had to re rebuild all this part of the street and everything. Um, rebuilt all this network. And then when I pressed play, the game crashed. And the reason it crashed, as I figured out after I tried reloading four auto saves that all crashed part way through loading was because I turned these houses some of these houses off. If I hit that and hit apply if I do it on pause it'll be fine. But as soon as I press play the game will crash. Um as I figured out when I tried to downgrade one. So I can't actually turn the houses off. So there's a word of warning. <laughs> Maybe start with them all off and then turn them on as we go along. Um, oh, definitely. Next time I do anything like this, I'm only, I'm only putting a few on. So I'm afraid we're stuck with a traffic jam. I have managed to get wide roads in here. There's another one of the mods as well. The London Bush Route Master. So it seems to uh, ease the traffic a little bit here. Put a street that's <laughs> dedicated bus lanes in, but the traffic are using it anyway. I thought my buses might just use it, but nope. I don't know if it's that traffic mod, but I had a look at it and it confuses me. And I believe the cars still use the bus routes anyway, so not much point. The bus goes faster than this. <laughs> I hope there's an upgrade to this soon. Also, I noticed I've, I've set things to auto replace. Um, I've had to split this into four routes as well. 
reason being is because there's four different types of horses so in order to get them to auto replace without turning them all into the same one we had to do four separate ones and split up the routes the other thing is you get people waiting so he's waiting for trail one uh, he's trail three he's trail four he's trail four he's trail one so we're going to have to wait so it's not really working perfectly oh we've got some new carriages oh and a new train oh let's go and have a look at that Do -do -do. It's got the mallard on there at the moment. It's standard class seven, known as the Britannia's British Rail effort to combine the best locomotive design aspects from the big four pre-nationalisation British railway companies. Fast and powerful, suited to both passenger and freight. Oh, look at that! Right, eighty-nine mile an hour. I've got the R8 and Express, they only do 64, these are the new, and they'll do 100, excellent. I think, well, we've still got the cost turned off, we'll, uh, we'll upgrade them. So what do we fancy? I think we'll go with the, uh, are these red and yellow, or the red? Or the blue and white, that's a more sort of traditional colour, you see these as well. Tory standard. Those are brake coaches, but they all carry 21, they all do the same. Let's go with some of these, one, two, three of them, and a brake coach. Maybe if we took the old train off first. <laughs> Let's have a look at that. not running that capacity anyway so we can afford to drop a carriage off. We're going to jump into a speed build in a bit, I'll just, just explain a few things first. Here we go. Oh yeah. We are restricted speed here so stick at that speed until it gets out of the good until it gets out of the sidings. I'm getting a little bit jittery as well. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to run on for with this. I think when my new hard drive arrives it'll uh, it'll help things out a bit. And uh, next thing is the upgrade to the RAM which will definitely help things up. But uh, that might be a week or two, depending on how much I can get one for. Right, so here we go. Let's start picking up speed now. I think I'm going to go and replace some oil trains with those. These aren't really going fast enough. In fact, I'm going to go and do all the goods lines with them. Um, yeah. I'm going to replace all the goods trains, apart from these, they, they can keep their little shunters on. Yeah, go and replace all the goods trains with them new ones, and then, um, then I think it's wrong with a speed bird. Oops, dog made me jump again. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to get more of this done, and do down here. Got to do some red bushes. I've got three routes coming out of here now, so this little station is getting quite busy. I've got one going straight to the airport, one going into town, back and forward, and one coming round here and back and forward. Uh, so that route no longer comes from town and round here, it just comes from town straight there and then back again. And then we've got the route around town. Plenty of transport, even horses. <laughs> 
you'll get massive traffic jams and all this. It's, it's these junctions, it's having all these junctions close together, the traffic just doesn't move for them quick enough. I wish we could have some working traffic lights. I know there are traffic light mods, but they don't actually function, they're just decorative. But, um, the amount of time it's taking the cars to actually get through, even when there's not that much else coming through, it's, you know, one or two cars coming through here can stop a whole load of traffic coming back, which is not good. Right, so I'm going to go and upgrade these good signs and um, yeah, I think I'll crack on with the speed build. Alright, I will see you in a bit. Just before I uh, jump into a speed build, I've just upgraded all these trains. Um, the reason I needed to do it was that last train I had on there wasn't powerful enough to be pulling these carriages, they were moving too slowly. Only getting up to about 40 or something, um, but these are a lot more powerful, so they should, should be able to get up to steam quicker. Just whiz it on a little bit. Yeah, it's getting up there much quicker. It was going a lot slower last time. Yeah, and that's going uphill as well, so it's accelerating going uphill. We're good. Is that one of the old ones? Oh, that's a big, big beasty German number. I'll replace that as well. Ooh. Looking good in black. These are new tanks that carry more as well. So it kicks it. Thank you. I right, just want to see how fast he's getting up to. Yeah, that's pretty good. These are heavy trains as well, so. Each time there's a new steam train come out, I'm going to upgrade it, but. Once we get to, well, if we get to diesels and electrics, I'm probably going to stick with the steam trains, I think. I might, I might use some diesels. I'm going to try and avoid using electrics if I can help it. I've got them on the narrow gauge only because that was the only thing I had, I had unless I stuck with the old little steam trains, which were rather nice, but they were very slow. I mean, these are much faster. In fact, these are a bit slower, aren't they? Back to using the steam train on that. Mm, I'll have a think about it. Right, um, let's get over here and then we can make a start on a speedy build. Right, we'll set you off from about here. Alright, I shall be back. I'll see you in a bit.
Right, so that's not finished yet. Um, just started doing a sort of little dockyard type thing. Got the cranes going around. Are they going to clip? Oh, that's close. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I'm just <laughs> tiny little details. I want to go and put a load of workers on here and stuff, get them on the scaffolding and things. But uh, yeah, it's, it's so much messing about. I might lift one of these barriers up. Oh, probably the middle one because it's not going to clip. Or maybe this one. Um, I've just got a bit of an extension. Um, so that was a suggestion. Uh, from one of the viewers is to do something like this. Like I said, I'm going to go and finish off, put some more details in. I'll stick a few trees around it. So many mods. <laughs> for now. Um, right, I'm going to come down here with caravan parks. I meant to mention, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I connected this town up here. So we've got a, a highway going through. Um, and I've connected up that one, Riverton. We've got two ways going in there. No traffic on it yet. That's connected up in to this area, which is probably going to cause more of a traffic jam down here. <laughs> I'm definitely going to plan the town out, towns out better on the next map. <laughs> this is all a bit higgledy piggledy. <laughs> and I've left myself a bit of a nightmare with this traffic. But um. Yeah, I've got an idea for the next map. Anyway, we're not we're not going on the next map yet. So what have we got here? I'm lockheed. Oh wait, we like my airships. So I've just left a bit of a sort of park in the middle there. Put a lot of commercial shops around here. Did I set these? Yeah, I've set them all to low. And the industrial buildings here are active. So there should be some people going to work in them. Hopefully pretty soon. It's right next to the bus stop as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, it's just going to be pretty much more of the same now. A um, few caravan parks, maybe another park, forest area up here. Sort of petering out till it's, till it's back into countryside again. Um, put, bring the beach along here. Oh, this little town's looking quite nice. Nice little fishing village with a church in the middle. The I don't know whether I I did it or whether the AI did it, but I'm pretty sure it upgraded this road because I came back and there was a narrow road here, and I had to delete part of it and put it back in again. And not quite as well lined up as it was. A couple of the cars just slightly out of position there. Um, but yeah, I need to keep my eye on it. So I've put a shop on either side just in case it does it again. Because usually that will prevent it from upgrading. Now then, that's not quite lined up now. But yeah, well. I love these London buses, these guys. <laughs> Route Masters. They carry 19. I'm not quite full yet. <laughs> uh, just going around the town. I might, uh, yeah, I'm not sending them all the way up there. I think what I'm going to work on next, I'm not doing it today. Um, I've joined these roll up, but I'm going to work on this area over here and 
what I'm going to use for this. We've got a housing project. <laughs> I'm going to use some of these. You can have these up to six long. These different coloured ones. This is from the Russian site. We've got some different coloured ones there. Quite like the stone, quite like the blue. We're going to make an area with those um, to enact them or put people magnets in the doorways. Let me just click that so instead of moving it around everywhere. Yeah, if I put a people magnet in the doorway set to residential, and then people will use them as the homes. I was looking at that, I wanted. I <laughs> think it's got 1600 people, so it is taking into account these. These a lot. <laughs> I wasn't sure whether they added to the uh, to the town. Well, that's jumped up from 900 to 1600. Last time I looked, it was 900. Look at all the jobs we've got: 1494, 862 shopping facilities. It's quite the town. <laughs> I just wish my computer would handle it a bit better. I'm just waiting on that new hard drive coming. In. It's had a week on the delivery, so I don't know how long it's going to be. Um, I hope it comes sooner than that. Because that is definitely having an effect on the gameplay. But, um, I think I mentioned this earlier. Um, I'm going to get RAM upgrade soon. Yeah, I definitely mentioned that earlier. I remember saying so. It's, it's about two hours since I last spoke to you, though, so <laughs> I've had I've had my dinner and stuff. <laughs> Sorting the dogs out and that. I've sort of built that in a few segments. If if there's any jumpy camera bits, I apologise. I know there's one bit where I moved the camera accidentally. Right, so this is coming along a bit better. I'm not totally satisfied with these. So I'm going to put in another step on this side. Definitely want to get more people on here. On these bits here, I'm not too keen on. But I could turn those into steps. Use a couple of small blocks and make them into, uh, make them into some steps going up. Where's your legs, mate? <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> Can't come to work today, boss. <laughs> I'm stuck in a hole. <laughs> We've got these guys levitating. <laughs> he looks like he's levitating a little bit as well. Or is it just a shadow? Yeah, so I'm gonna have some people on here and some goods and stuff. That's coming along nicely. Yeah, I was having to think about the next map. What I think I might do on the next map, uh, just to help me frame rate as well, I might just put two cities and join them up with a commuter route, but then build out and build little villages like this with train stations on them, so the AI is not gonna. I'm not going to grow them or change them or make them any bigger. Rather than ending up with sort of towns like this, then I won't need to bring any goods into them either. I can I can build as many little villages on as I want. I'll have a look at that. Might do might do a few more towns. We'll see. Um, but we're not there yet. I actually I, I left it running last night. I, I ran it on to the 1960s and it was still running pretty well by then. As long as I wasn't moving around too much. <laughs> it was getting a bit slow when I was starting to move around, but there's definitely another 10 years in it, so. <clears throat> and I should have my hard drive by the time we get to that point, so that should, that should push it on a bit, because I used to be able to get a lot further with the game. You know, I've had towns much bigger than this. If you've seen my scenics videos from the prior to the first season, um, on the map I was on there, I had a town that was much bigger than this. 
more modern as well. I had the, um, I've got the config editor. I had the town growth set to 200%, so it was, it was growing a lot faster. The only thing is, if I do that now, like on end of season one, I, I just couldn't play the game. I just got stuck. I did say I was going to go back to that, but I don't know if I really know. <laughs> See how I feel once I've got my RAM upgrade and stuff. Right, what we're we doing? Nothing. I think I'm going to go and process these videos. So a bit of a shorter episode, I think, tonight. Um, yeah, we're not having a we're not having an hour every day because it's like two or three hours worth of recording and two or three hours worth of processing, an hour of editing. You know, it's, it's turning into a full-time job. This. <laughs> Luckily, I'm doing it at night time mostly, the editing and the processing. I've been uploading the videos sort of in the daytime because I've been. They just haven't been processed by the time I've gone to bed. Um, so I've left them running and then uploaded them the next morning. Or next lunchtime or something, whenever I've had a break. It'll take about an hour to upload as well. So. <laughs> This traffic seems to be a bit calmer there. This isn't as bad now. That's not too bad. That was all the way up there as well before. Oh yeah, I upgraded them. Um, um, goods trains. Did I mention that? So they're all running these now. Go and have a look how they're doing. He's just come up here a little bit. Let's see what kind of speeds we're getting. To click time, really. We're only getting up to the forties. Slow it down. He's not moving very quick, but the shifting quite a lot of goods about. Actually, this has stopped producing again. Oh, we've got land usage again now. Yep, they're all land usage again. Still a lot of iron ore on this. I keep leaving the iron ore behind and taking. Oh, it's took some iron ore. Good. I was watching them before. They was they was hardly picking any iron up, uh, iron ore up at all. It was like 700 on there. Let's just see if we can shift it. The thing is, they're only taking 80 at a time or something. These can bring 240 in. You know, about 31 in that time. <clears throat> Something else I considered for the next map as well. Um, let me know what you think. Would you prefer that I played the game like I have been doing? Or how about we ignore what year it is? There is a mod to have everything available from the start of the game, and that way I could just build a, a sort of build the city up and just choose the trains that I'm going to use throughout. And let let the um, let the game develop it, and then I'll go and like I said, I'll go and build loads of little vi villages and stuff. I just think I should just start with the start with what's available in 1850 or 1870. Start early. I need to have a think about it. I need to, I need to sort of. 
I'm thinking about the next map now because I know I'm, I've not got once I, once I get all this filled in, it's probably going to frame rate probably going to kill because of all the assets that I've got in here. Yeah, you know, even even just the trees, the trees do make a quite a bit of difference. If you start, if you have no vegetation on the map at all, um, you can run quite a number of towns more than you normally do. There is there's a mod for uh, using really large maps where it will only do right angle streets. There's no vegetation. There's no rocks. Um, it just strips out all the frame rate killers. That's something else I need to think about as well as cutting down on some of the mods that I'm using. It takes ages to load the game up. And I want to get an SSD, that'll change that definitely. It'll make me processing my videos a lot quicker so I'll be able to play more and process less. <laughs> That's the only thing. After I've done a couple of hours, it's like, oh, it's going to take me four or five hours to get this sorted out and uploaded. And, yeah. And so I'm pretty happy with this. I made a start on that, which I quite like the looks of. So, thanks again, Andre, for the uh, suggestion. It's a very good idea of yours. Um, I'm not finished. I do want to do, just sort of just trying it out and seeing what it looked like. This scaffolding in here. Oh, that worked out well there. See if I could get that on the on the all of the edges. That would look great. That one's not lined up. <laughs> See, it is on one side. I'll have to have a look in and doing that. Also, these don't go right down to the floor, they're floating as well. Same with this one. This one's actually floating on the surface. I definitely want to, in future, make them so that they're solid under the water. Oh, I've got another little boat, look. I was after one of them in the last map. <laughs> I got one that came from the Russian site as well. I got I got a few more tools that was there yesterday. Right, so we got a bit of a bus queue going on. <laughs> I should have left that bigger station in. We still had a couple of platforms. This little thing's only got one. <laughs> Definitely using this again though, I really like that. It's nice and compact. Nice neat little bus stop. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. Got a bit of a headache, I'm tired, I've been out in the sun all day. It's been hot and I've been working. Ooh, horrible noise outside then. Um Yeah. I don't wanna do any more tonight. <laughs> I've had enough. Again. I'm tired. Again. <laughs> I'm always tired. I always play this after a hard day's work. I've had my dinner and you know what time is it now? It must be on getting on for about eight o'clock or something. Yeah, nearly eight o'clock in the evening. So uh, I'll get this video processed and then I'll, I'll get it uploaded. Hopefully it'll be up tonight. I've finished a little bit earlier than I've been doing. Yeah, I'll see how long it takes. I don't know how long I've been recording, but I'll probably end up with an hour again. Me waffling for most of it. <laughs> so I got a bit more done. Like I said, I'm going to put couple more caravan parks over this side, do a bit of a beach area. Uh, I don't need to record that because you've seen me doing all that at once. So I'll probably get that done before the next episode. Just fill that in. Whack a load of trees in here. Whack a load of trees in there as well. Just decorate it up a little bit. And then, uh, then we'll make a start on this. Get a train station over there and 
you know, a bit like a 1950s, 1960s, scruffy looking, like the projects, the rundown area, you know, decades of trouble coming your way, <laughs> gangs and all sorts of things, yep. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a, definitely have a, a big sort of area full of high rise buildings over here somewhere. Maybe down this side, maybe down here, along here, and then have a lot of industrial around it. I don't want it. I don't want it getting too close to this area. No, I think I might fill the top forest in around there um, before you get out to the to the projects. And I haven't decided what I'm doing over here yet. It'll come. <laughs> That's quite big considering the city's only here. <laughs> also, so kicks in just before I finish. Right. Yep. I'm just calling it a day. All right. Thanks very much again. Um, I'll see you really soon. Good night, everybody.